Hello everyone and welcome to the Ghost Stories Report. I'm with you as always, Ryan. Today's video, we're going to be looking at the actual material conditions of public housing here in Japan. Now, I live in an area called Adachiku, uh, Tokyo, Japan. It has a lot of public housing in it. Now, the purpose of public housing is to provide people with a proper home or shelter when they normally under market free market conditions don't have access to it. Right now we're going to take a look at public housing. Okay? We'll walk down the street real quick. Now, here's the first example. You can see it, number 15 there. Now, this public housing project originally shut down recently. So down a few months ago. I interacted with a few people who used to live there. They were good working class, hard working people. They got kicked out of their house for whatever reason. Okay, so that's a kind of a older view of you in for you there. You can see what it used to look like. Now there's the gate. All right, It's blocking people from the entrance. Nobody's allowed to get in there anymore. There's the public housing authority notice saying stay out. They're redeveloping as they say. Things like that. Alright. So we'll, we'll walk down the street a bit. Okay. Again this isn't my local community. That's where I live, right? So you can take around and see this total area is blocked off. But you can get a good look at um, what public housing looked like in Japan. There's building number 14 again blocked off. You can't get access to public to housing number 14 anymore. Now to me it doesn't look like it's um all that um, dilapidated to me, but some people disagree. Now here in Japan, public housing is a bit of a unique situation. It's um, a mix between um, private corporations and public corporations. So the government doesn't have, yeah, that, that's shut down as you can see, people can't live there. But it's a bit of a cooperation between um, private corporation and public corporation to maintain it. Alright, so we're going to look at one of the newer buildings that were built. This one over here. Right? So, this one, was com this one we're looking at now was completed uh, recently. Been opened. People are now currently living in there. All right, so I'm gonna take you over there. All right. Now, first thing we'll see is the biking area. All right. This is where uh, people can park their bicycles. Now, now bicycles are very popular in Japan. It's a popular mode of transportation here in Tokyo. You see there, it's not that bad. It's very well maintained here in the um, more modern updated version compared to what you just saw alright see that there have some greenery things like that okay now I'm gonna go up in this building here and I'm gonna show you exactly what public housing looks like here in here in Japan you can see for yourself what what is trying to go on here now the people that live here are often um, the elderly and uh, the working class. Uh, this guy, I just want to show you how um, life it really is inside of public housing, okay? So we're moving forward a bit here. All right, and you see the typical outside of a house here, one of the apartment units, like that. It's pretty nondescript, all right? So as we move down here, right? So 
And there's a good view, right, of the more traditional housing there. Okay? I'm going to show you that. Alright, so if you go out here, beautiful sky there. And all those buildings, like bam, 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 bam. A lot of those have been shut down. Okay? Now, a lot of those people can no longer live there. And they need to live there. Okay? So, what we have in Adachiku right now is a lack of public housing for people who need it. Now, later I'm going to take it down to a factory. And I'm going to show you where these people work and live. Okay? So, we'll go up one more level here. I'm going to show you another level of the more modern public housing. If you're in Japan, there's the older ones that, again, I said, you can see. Blocked off. People are not allowed to live there. Abandoned. Banned from the, the national government, bans people from living there. When people need homes, okay? People desperately need a place to live here in Adachiku. But people are now not allowed to live there, all right? So you're up on the third floor, all right? This is the more modern, newer versions of public housing. And in Japan, as you can see, we won't get too close, we won't be respectful of people, but we'll, be, we'll zoom in. We're having a little conversation there, okay? Then notice me. I don't feel too much, because people notice things, right? And you got to be respectful of, of human beings, okay? So there you go, right? There's the more modern version of things here, here, here in uh, Adachiku. And it, the actual material conditions people are living under. There's a window, it's, there's a door's kind of open. So people get hot, you know. Air conditioning is a... Is a air conditioning is a um, luxury. Not something that's guaranteed these people. And if you know anything about a summer in, in, in Tokyo, it's quite hot. And I'm going to show you some of the more um, usual uh, type of public housing that we have here in Aoi. Like, again, like I said before, there's a lot of public housing in the area here in Adachiku. And first thing we'll look at is the uh, bike parking area. You saw before the more modern version, more recent built type of things, and here's the more traditional thing. Here's what most people get. Right? So we're right here. Right up on the more traditional building. As you can see there. We'll take a walk, okay? So we'll walk over this area. Now, public housing in Japan is um, a bit of a, a concern. Now, as you saw earlier, a lot of elderly live in um, public housing here in Tokyo, Japan, especially in Adachiku. We have a lot of public housing. A lot of the working poor and the elderly live in this area. You can see some of the more traditional forms of housing. Yeah, there's bars on the door. Okay, bar, bar, excuse me, bars and windows. That's due to crime. Uh, a lot of people claim that, that um, Tokyo has no crime rate. Well, live in the area I do. And that's a different story, all right? So we have the bars on, on the windows there. Uh, you can see that. There's the numbers. Uh, various apartment buildings, and we're here on the first floor. Across the street there, you can see some more housing. All right. See that? We'll zoom in. See a better look at that. That's a water tower on the top there. You can see how the people live. Okay. That's their balconies. Things like that. Okay. Uh, so we'll walk down just a little bit. I'm going to show you the conditions of the uh, mailboxes that the people get. As you can see, very rusted out. 
not very good quality. Now people are uh, required to provide for their own locks. You can see they're getting a free mailbox, but the quality of it, of the mailbox they get, I don't need to speak much on that. You can see it for yourself, okay? Very rusted out. Things like that, alright? Before we go upstairs, I'm going to show you the gardens that, that, that um, people typically keep in the public housing projects, okay? Now, you got to remember we're near the end of the summer season, so the growing season's kind of ended. So a lot of these people have torn down their their, um, their farms and things they keep. But we have a lot of co-ops around here. So I have a lot of like um, farming things. These are different people's plots. They were growing food. They were growing food here earlier in the year. And when they get ready to harvest, they have to burn the crops a bit to um, reset the land. But as you can see there, people do get their own little plot of land. They can grow food on those things, things like that. People plant trees and you see how they've grown over the years. And they're there. I'll take you over there just real quick. Here's some more housing projects over that way. But to show you a bit more of a better example, as you can see there, yeah, see people grow their own stuff. The individual plots of land. They try to be as self sufficient as possible. We'll take you up over there. Alright, now you can see that. Okay? Again, this is just to show you the actual material conditions of public housing here in Tokyo, here in Tokyo, Japan, in Adachiku. People grow things, they, they do the best they can under uh, the situations that they are given. Alright, so, so on to the second floor of the uh, more normal, not the more modern one I showed you earlier, but what most people are living under with their actual material conditions. We're on the second floor of this building. Uh, there's a typical um, working class shade. Okay, it's made of um, bamboo. All right, that's the when you don't have the capital to have those nice cotton shades or no silk shades, you use this. All right, this is made of bamboo, you know, wood material, and you can have a bit more privacy. All right, but you gotta do those bars and window, of course. All right. Okay, so we'll walk down into this uh, hallway here. I want to show you. There again, some some shoes there, and there's more cleaning materials, as do to the cooperative that they they are working under. All right. There's some more of the bamboo wind, the bamboo um, shades they use. Okay. I'll keep walking down here. See for yourself. There's a power meter. I'm getting close there. This is a, that records how much power each individual unit. We'll show you a bit more of the of the uh, garden area here. Okay, so you see the bikes and toys and things. This is how the actual working class in Japan live, and I live in a dachiku, which is a working class area. Right now, some people. Lucky enough to have a few um, nice things there, as you can see. A rare treat for them. Alright. I hope you all are enjoying this video so far. Because my purpose of actually filming this and showing you was, again, to show you the actual material conditions that the working class in Japan are living under. You see all the bright, beautiful lights and Shibuya and Rapongi and... All these crazy tales that foreigners will tell you about living in Japan. But when, how often do you see this?